Usage Insights is a free SaaS offering from Veritas that provides automated visualization of usage and entitlements for all protected servers, workloads, and license types. It helps you eliminate spreadsheets and lengthy manual usage data pools across all of your servers. You can always know what you're protecting and then use that information to plan and budget for each of your accounts. And here is a simple comparison of life with and without Usage Insights. Without Usage Insights, there is no data, there is difficulty planning for the future. With Usage Insights enabled, you always have visibility into the data that you're protecting. You can understand your license consumption and trends. You can use that information to effectively plan and proactively budget. And ultimately, you can make a more impactful data-driven decision. So here's Usage Insights. The card at the top provides you a quick overview of your environment, showing the number of accounts that you have, the number of primary servers you're protecting, and the number of CPUs you're protecting if you're an NEVC customer. The license summary tab lists all the different licenses that you own, the entitlements for each of those licenses, the primary servers which are reporting against those license types, and the total usage or the total data that you're protecting for all those primary servers for each of the license types. Going down further, the capacity consumption growth chart gives you a historical view of how you have consumed your licenses, and then Usage Insights does its magic to predict the future usage. The growth breakdown chart goes much deeper into your usage. Here you can see the usage broken down by each of your policy types, or you can drill down further by primary servers, the different net backup servers and their versions that you own, the primary server and the version combination, as well as primary server and policy type combination, giving you that flexibility that you need. The accounts tab at the very bottom basically talks about how your entitlements are broken down into each of your accounts and what percent of those entitlements across each of your accounts have you consumed. Now, looking at the accounts tab, the first card over here is similar to the one that we saw on dashboard. The consumption breakdown card gives you a quick overview of how the usage is broken down across each of your three accounts that are shown here. The growth breakdown chart, again, provides you a historical view of how the usage has trended across each of the accounts. The all accounts tab goes deeper into the each of the accounts that you own, where you can simply click on this drop down by clicking on this arrow on the left hand side. And then you can see the license types across each of the accounts, the entitlements for each of those license types, and what percent of those entitlements have been consumed. The primary servers tab is an important tab where you can see all the primary servers that you're protecting and sending the data. Now we understand that primary server name is sensitive information. So Veritas obfuscates that name before the data even leaves your environment. Usage Insights, however, provide you the flexibility to add a user-friendly name and description for each of your servers once you have identified which server is which. You can get deeper into each of your servers by clicking on the display name, and then you can see all this information along with the different workloads that you're protecting across each of your servers, the data protected for each of those workloads, and the time period for which the data is protected. The License Utilizations Files tab basically shows you how to manually upload the data. Now, we understand that in some cases, you might not be able to automatically send data, in which case you can simply follow these steps, upload the file, and the card at the bottom will tell you whether the file upload was successful or was it a failure. The Registration Keys tab is where you can come and download the Usage Insights keys, which you'll need during a net backup install or upgrade to enable usage insights. You can simply follow the steps here and that will guide you to do the right thing. Lastly, you can simply click on the arrow on this question mark on the top right and go to the Usage Insights help page where you can get more information about Usage Insights as well as find answers to most of the questions that you have. We hope this video was helpful to get you started. Thanks for watching.